the star, huh? Well, we want to show you one of the smallest antelopes in the world. Christy Morcom is here from Wildlife World Zoo. This is a African blue diker. Yes. Cute as can be. I know. Only a week and a half old? Yep, only a week and a half old, but even though he's still so young, these guys don't get very big. The females get larger than the males as adults, and they get anywhere from 8 to 20 pounds. Wow, now was this born with, at, your, at the Wildlife World Zoo? It was, yep. He was oh uh, born, and he can now be seen in our baby animal nursery. You can see our expert hand raising team taking care of them. And these guys have a lot of really cool adaptations because a cute, tiny little antelope like this, you can imagine, is very low on the food chain. And uh, one thing they're really going to rely on protecting themselves is they're nocturnal, so they're only going to come out at night. Okay. So they're a lot harder to spot, and they also have those little hooves. And there those two, is there two? So they're two cloven, toes? which means they're split right down the middle. Okay. And that's going to give them an excellent sense of traction and stability, and uh, they get very sharp. <laughs> uh, well, that is the tiniest hoof I've ever seen. Yeah. That is amazing. So he's he, he doesn't have a name? So he doesn't have a name yet. Yeah, we're still working on something. Um, we had some really cute suggestions on your Facebook Live video. <laughs> <laughs> what was the one? Snip, snip it? Snip it. I like that. That's a great idea. Yes, yeah, uh, snip it. How many Scotty. do you have out there? So we have a couple of different families. He was the only one born. Typically, there's only one born at a time, but we do have uh, several of the families on exhibit. In our walkthrough aviary, we actually have a family, and we just had a really exciting birth. So wow. we had a southern bald ibis born, which is the only chick in the country, and we raised the only chick in the country last wow, year. Good yeah, for you guys. Now, Critically antelopes endangered. are known to be really fast and jump. They can really jump. Can yeah. these? These guys are really agile. They're fast. They can leap. They Both males and females grow horns, so the horns are going to protect them, and they're very territorial. Okay. They get little scent glands, or they have the little scent glands under the eyes, uh -huh. those little slits, uh -huh. and that's what they use to rub on different things oh and mark gosh. their territory. He is something else. Uh, you guys still have that camp going on, right? Yes, we do. So you can go to our Facebook page for all the details. We're giving away a $500 scholarship to our safari camp where you get really uh, close, hands-on experience with animals. Very nice. And the kids have to write a 100-word essay to uh, qualify for this? They do. All right. Make, a, make it a little work for them, but <laughs> what a payoff for them. That would be a lot of fun. So just go to the Wildlife World Zoo uh, Facebook page. Olivia, what do you think of that cute little face? Is Adorable. that something? Adorable. Oh, my so goodness. So cute. So little. Look at that I little know. tongue. You, you need to come over. Its hooves are tiny. Oh, my gosh. We need a little nail polish and some <laughs> bifocals. We'll take care of those cute little hoofs. Thank you, Scott.